Howell Jones' wife has Alzheimer's. He's had first-hand experience of all the care services as they look for suitable accommodation for Sean, his wife. We've seen Sean's second language deteriorate um, constantly uh, since the day she was, she was diagnosed. Um, even today, uh, her abilities in Welsh far outreach her abilities in English. At first, Sean had half a day daycare and that went to a full day. And then we had mornings. And I tried my best to ensure that those mornings were provided by a person who could speak Welsh. As Sean's illness progressed, uh, we were um, lucky to be able to continue to, to find fun continuing healthcare funding and obtain full day care. Now then, that is more difficult to obtain because the number of Welsh speakers available for a whole week are very, very scarce, very, very small. So therefore, as a carer, I had to make a choice. Do I stick with the number of Welsh speakers I have for slots during the week? Or do I think that con continuity of service and the con continuity um, of contact um, friendship or knowledge of Sean is more important and in the end that's what I did. At this point now we're looking for the next step um, in Sean's care which is going to be residential uh, obviously. I don't know if you've ever tried to find a care home. It's horrendous. It really is. Think of people who are living you know in rural Wales. Farmers, couples, they come next to them totally new experience you know it's a hospital doctors are to be respected of course they are that's their era i mean i create more waves i'm sure only because i believe that they have a right to those services in welsh and it's not happening <laughs>